perfectionism doesn't advance anything, ironically. As a creative and as a designer, there's no wrong way to go about the future of your career. The only failure is not to try. Virgil Abloh, renegade, visionary, explorer, barrier-breaking designer, polymath, genre-bending genius. Virgil Abloh passed away from cancer at just 41 in November 2021. Abloh was often quoted saying that everything he did was for the 17-year-old version of myself. Not only was he continuously inspired by the youth culture for his designs, but he was also dedicated to making room for others. And that's the refrain heard most this past weekend, when the news of his passing became public. Stories about times that Virgil reached out to work together, to create a community, to inspire others to follow dreams. I don't feel responsible to a preconceived notion of art. I feel more responsible to a uh, community that is trying to change the tide or to sort of live in an optimistic society that art, design, music, and fashion actually change the world for the better. He always worked for a greater cause than his own illustrious career, to open the door to art and fashion for future generations so that they, unlike himself, would grow up in a creative world with people to mirror themselves in. Edward Eninful, the editor-in-chief of British Vogue, wrote this in an Instagram post following the news. Virgil Abloh did not take a conventional path to his eventual appointment as the artistic director for Louis Vuitton. His unfortunate passing has been marked by celebrities and fashion icons, and his voice and presence will be missed in an industry increasingly defined by diverse voices. Abloh began life as a child of Ghanaian immigrant parents. Born in 1980 in Rockford, Illinois, he studied civil engineering at the University of Wisconsin-Madison in 2002, earning his bachelor's degree. He then progressed to a master's in architecture from the Illinois Institute of Technology in 2006. After completing his education, he met Kanye West in 2009 while he was working at a screen printing store. They both interned at the LVMH brand Fendi and formed a bond. Perhaps his first impactful work was his collaboration with Kanye and Jay-Z on the 2011 album Watch the Throne. He was nominated for a Grammy for his work as the artistic director of this project. In the same year, he was appointed as creative director for Kanye's company, Donda. During his tenure, he was responsible for some of the most iconic album art in hip hop, like Watch the Throne, My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, and Yeezus. He's also created the covers for ASAP Rocky's Long Live ASAP, Lil Uzi Vert's Love is Rage 2, Kid Cudi's Wizard, Two Chains Based on a True Story, and more. Ablo founded the fashion house Off-White in 2012, where he served as CEO until his passing. Feedback towards me was like, oh, there's room for a new type of fashion design. 
And with that, I started Off-White as the seasonal fashion sort of language concept post this idea of streetwear, this idea of fashion looking for a change. It is here that his impact on culture and fashion can be most obviously seen, as his foray into clothing is largely responsible for the bridging of streetwear and luxury fashion that has emerged over the past decade. You know, I want the larger fashion industry and ecosystem to not see us, you know, as this sort of like fly-by-night trend the sort of hyper consumer, you know, there's real discerning taste. There's kids in our community that know the Helmet Lane collection by heart. <laughs> you know, there's kids with crazy archive collections. And then they also understand the sort of camaraderie amongst themselves. They understand that true mix. I, my only contention was that there's no designer that manifested that. You know, there's more, there, there's a lot now, which I think is great. Off-White brought Abloh recognition from peers and contemporaries in the fashion world and drew the interest of Louis Vuitton. The legendary fashion house appointed Abloh as artistic director in 2018, a role he would fulfill for the rest of his life. He became the first African-American to take this position. I did not ever think that I could be a designer with a capital D because no one looked like me. Just plain and simple. I, I couldn't see, I was like, I'll never get the capitalization. I might just be a designer, but I might do it and do another per career. Cause I was like, I don't see people that look like me. I, I have to get struck by a certain type of lightning to get that sort of uh, epiphany. I dreamt about it. I, I willed, it, willed it into fruition. His death came as a shock to the world. After a diagnosis of cardiac angiosarcoma, a particularly rare and aggressive form of cancer, in 2019, he elected to battle the disease privately. A statement posted to Abloh's Instagram reads, For over two years, Virgil valiantly battled a rare and aggressive form of cancer, cardiac angiosarcoma. He chose to endure his battle privately since his diagnosis in 2019, undergoing numerous challenging treatments, all while helming several significant institutions that span fashion, art, and culture. Through it all, his work ethic, infinite curiosity, and optimism never wavered. Virgil was driven by his dedication to his craft and to his mission to open doors for others and create pathways for greater equality in art and design. He often said, everything I do is for the 17-year-old version of myself, believing deeply in the power of art to inspire future generations. The artist is survived by his wife, Shannon Abloh, and their two children, Lo and Gray, as well as his parents, Ni nee and Eunice, and sister Edwina. We are all shocked after this terrible news. Virgil was not only a genius designer, a visionary, but he was also a man with a beautiful soul and great wisdom. LVMH Chief Executive Officer Bernard Arnault wrote in a statement shared to social media, the LVMH family joins me in this moment of great sorrow, and we are all thinking of his loved ones after the passing of their husband, their father, their brother or their friend. Ablo told Vestoge magazine in an interview published before his death, I'm an autodidact, an explorer, and often I'm an amateur too. My career in that sense is an investigative exploration. It's about how to be a black thinker in white spaces. It's about inserting the black canon in art history books. As a final creative statement, it seems to be an underlining of his core values. It's about being a black voice that matters beyond the fringes. I want to be able to look back at my life and career and know that I left some inanimate objects behind, yes, but also a logic that changed the mainstream. For many, Abloh transcended the worlds of fashion and music, his work holding importance to our culture and the world that is difficult to truly quantify. A passionate advocate of diversity in the spaces in which he worked, 
His philosophy was to prioritize change across creative spaces at a time when the rest of the world was beginning to see just how vital the voices and perspectives of those who have been historically marginalized by the industry are to the future relevance of it. For me, it's less about being radical than being honest, Ablo told Numero in April 2021. Honest with respect to the history of the world, as it really is, and not as we've been told it is all these years. It's a holistic approach. I don't think of diversity as a simple added extra mixed in with my work, but as an essential component. That can clearly be seen in the stories I tell, the images I create, and the people I hire. You know, I'm an optimist. You know, I'm into humanity more than like the cool sneakers or something, but design has that ability to transform and use both those tools. I sit around and I think, wait, like my interactions with people are not rooted in uh, prejudice against like race, age, color, religion, you know, sexuality. But a lot of people feel that way. My project, I would say at the core is like humanity and education. Like we can use design, we can use trends, we can use brands, we can use good ideas to sort of share information. You know, it's all about personal expression. You know, these clothes are just tools to sort of make a collage about yourself so that people can sort of understand what you know. It is this elevation of diversity from the background of corporate buzzwords and occasional tokenism to a central and defining aspect of his design work that makes Abloh's work feel essential vital and incredibly important in the social and political landscape of today. It also lends his work an air of authenticity that is sometimes missing from the broader fashion world. Rather than designers who grew up and went to fashion school, then imagining what the blending of streetwear and luxury fashion might look like, Abloh's experiences made him uniquely qualified to execute this vision in a way that the industry had never seen before. Nor did Ablo allow himself to be limited to fashion in the scope of his artistic practice. In fact, he took what could be considered a very postmodern approach to artistic creation, covering fields from fashion, design, art and architecture, music, furniture design. His eclectic approach is another defining aspect of his life and work. From his early beginnings as a DJ, helping him to express himself artistically in his adolescence, one could see how this influenced his unique take on self-expression moving forward. Taking elements and fragments of the existing culture and reworking or remixing them into something that feels both familiar and unique. Perhaps the explosion of hip-hop should be seen as a metaphor for artistic democratization. Composing with samples these fragments of culture is to understand that creation is unlimited. His work is exhibited at the Art Institute of Chicago. He was invited to speak at prestigious institutions like Harvard about his artistic vision and featured in the most well-regarded art magazines. His view of artistic expression in this holistic, cross-media fashion made him stand out from many of his contemporaries, who so often allow themselves to be pigeonholed into a particular path or career. As much as his work has had an impact on both individuals and industry, so too is his personal perspective and philosophy, a blueprint for the future of artistic expression. This multimedia, multidisciplined approach can also be seen in his wide array of collaborative works throughout his career. Working with like-minded individuals was an essential element in the special formula that made Abloh's work so special. But it was after the launch of Off-White that this collaborative philosophy really came to the fore. Working with companies like Nike, Levi, Jimmy Choo, Moncler, Doc Martens and Champion, Abloh's voice began to demand more attention from audiences worldwide as these brands worked with Abloh to create pieces that reflected the fresh perspectives on the worlds of fashion and art that he brought to the table. In addition to collaborating with these established brands, Abloh also frequently collaborated with musicians and artists on multimedia endeavors. In 2017, Off-White partnered with ASAP Rocky's label AWGE to produce a series of shirts printed in fluorescent green lettering that was later revealed on Instagram and nodded back to the midnight raves organized by Abloh back in the day. 
Earlier this year, he worked with Nigerian star Rima for The Drop of Peace of Mind, where he remixed a set and directed visuals for the Red Album that went to support HIV AIDS programs in the sub-Saharan Africa. Throughout his unique career, Ablo was perhaps best categorized as a true renegade, someone who challenged the establishment in art and fashion, and ultimately came to be instrumental in redefining it. His willingness to collide with culture wherever it found him, from the streets of Chicago to nightclubs in London, and perhaps most importantly, as an early adopter of the paradigm-shifting potential and influence from the widespread use of the internet. I've been identifying with the power of advertising, how that at its essence is what drives culture. You know, it drives taste, it drives decisions, it drives everything from an election to like what you'd have for lunch. These powerful loaded images are in some ways more impactful to society than, you know, quote unquote, art or, you know, anything else. He was a master of using irony, reference, and a self-aware wink, plus the digital world, to recontextualize the familiar and give it an aura of cultural currency. I come from a generation that was finding this newfound freedom and being ironic. There was like a dual language happening at the same time you know, presiding generation with like, this is how it's always been done, but the internet sort of cracking open this sort of language that became almost impenetrable by a big brand. But, you know, I say that all getting to the, the idea of quotes, it's the ability to say two things at one time. Essentially, he took elements of both the high fashion world most of us only get a glimpse of and combined it with a more grounded and realistic approach to clothing and remixed them into something that would do what so many set out to but few achieve, change the way we see an entire industry. A lot of the time, when fashion is sold to us, the archetypes are X, Y and Z. Often when we say high fashion, fashion with a capital F, we mean the people cemented in the canon of fashion. I very much exist to challenge that by simply being who I am and presenting my work. The impact of Abloh's death is still being felt and processed throughout the world. Many of his collaborators, contemporaries and admirers have taken to social media to express their grief and shock, lamenting on a life too short, whilst also celebrating what we were lucky enough to experience from him as a creative. Gigi Hadid has said, I am heartbroken for the loss of my dear friend and a friend to the world, Virgil Abloh. He was one of one. His kindness and energetic generosity left a lasting impression on every life he touched. He made everyone feel seen and special. He will be deeply missed, cherished and celebrated by me and all the people and industries that have been lucky enough to work around and know the true supernova behind this man. The supermodel continued, I picture him now like our Mickey Mouse, forever with us, forever adored, forever magical, forever guiding us with that special Virgil fun. I'm sure that's how he wanted to be remembered, but still it will never be the same without him in the room. A true inspiration in so many ways. Rest in peace, Virgil Abloh. Fellow fashion designer wrote on Instagram, sending love and light to your beautiful family. We will all miss you so very much. Though Kanye West has not made a public statement about the passing of one of his closest friends and collaborators, the rapper dedicated his Sunday service to Abloh. During the service, West's choir reportedly sang an emotional version of Adele's newest single, Easy On Me adding new spiritual lyrics like I know your love flows like a river and I could wash myself in it forever. A true trailblazer and one of a kind creative, the full impact of Virgil Abloh's time on this earth will undoubtedly be discussed and unpacked long into the future. While his time among us was all too brief, what he did with his time, both in terms of the industries he worked in and the lives he touched, is something to be celebrated. 
Virgil Abloh will be remembered by future generations as an uncompromising and brilliant artistic visionary, a proud voice that stood for a movement many consider long overdue in the world of fashion. Both through his words and actions, he has in a number of ways changed what is possible for fashion and for those voices that have perhaps been previously ignored by the industry at large. His commitment to representing diverse voices in his work and doing so not just as a matter of corporate tokenism or ticking a box, but as one of the central pillars of his creative approach, is something that many try so hard to do but few manage to manifest in a genuine manner. Virgil Abloh achieved this idea seemingly without much effort. It seemed almost a natural fit for him as a creative. This commitment is further reflected by his charity work. He raised a million dollars for the Virgil Abloh Postmodern Scholarship Fund, which aims to support the next generation of black fashion industry leaders. Coupled with his prioritization of diversity, Virgil Abloh will perhaps be best remembered as a transcendent artistic force, not just a fashion designer, but a true polymath, a man who had a unique understanding of the nexus between art, the digital landscape, and what we wear as an expression of who we are. His experiences growing up and using sampling and remixing as forms of self-expression informed his approach, regardless of his chosen medium. Using these familiar elements and remixing them for a modern audience will be something that will be appropriated and copied by fashion houses for years and potentially decades to come. Ultimately, his loss is a tragedy, but we are fortunate enough to have experienced his one-of-a-kind vision in our lifetimes. Like others in FIB's Renegade series, Virgil Abloh achieved success on his own terms and in doing so challenged and changed the status quo of the industry. In the decades to come, Abloh will most certainly be credited for marrying streetwear with luxury fashion. He will go down in history for poking fun at fashion and moves that challenged consumers to view everyday items as luxury ones and exposing the ways in which high-end aesthetics are ultimately pedestrian pursuits. He will be remembered for democratizing luxury fashion by injecting youthful modern touches into Louis Vuitton, a brand that has long prided itself on tradition and experience over innovation, and giving young people all over the world who are of various shades of off-white that they too are worthy of big dreams. There's basically no boundaries in the real world. Um, if you work hard, you know, I, th I think um, the amount of freedom that you guys will interface in this new world, I feel that creativity is like highly valued in all different industries. So, you know, keeping your eyes open to those things. <laughs>